Hey everybody, welcome back to Touchy Reactions. Warning fans, we got another good one for you tonight. You have been warned. We're gonna be checking out the song Red Hands Never Fade from the Queen of the Murder Scene album. That's the next one on the list. I just got done doing uh, The Stalker. That was a really good one. And uh, I really hate the thumbnail I had to put together for that song. I mean, picture it, it's got three young ladies. It's got me, some old dude off to the side, and then it's got the word stalker across the middle of it. Really made me uncomfortable having to make that thumbnail. I thought about just taking me out of it altogether, but uh, I don't know. You guys can enjoy that when it, when it drops. Anyway, uh, tonight we're going to be watching three videos. The first one is a studio version, uh, acoustic, that uh, looks very nice. Very nice setting that they have here. It's a little different. I don't think I've seen this setting before. Second one we're going to be doing is a uh, one from the Warning Cave, uh, and I think Ale is going to be singing on it. It says Ale sings, so maybe she's uh, taking Danny's part for that particular session. And then we're going to wrap it up with a live version like we always do here over at Touchy Reactions. So uh, I'm excited to get into it. Not going to do a bunch of promo on the front. Just want to thank everybody who's been supporting the channel, liking these videos, commenting, recommending songs, all that great stuff. Everybody who's come over and joined the Patreon, thank you very much. You guys are really helping the channel grow. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into this. This is Red Hands Never Fade by The Warning. And here we go. All right, so we're back. I went and found a lyric video. I forgot I got to start these things with a lyric video so I can make sure I understand what the song's about. I don't know. It's been a minute. Excuse the old dude. Let's go ahead and jump into this lyric video first, and then we'll pick up where we left off a second ago. Here we go. This, this actually sounds like it could have been off of the Mayday album. It's a uh, very well put together. The I love the I love the hook. I love the theme. I love the sound of the uh, different instruments together. Very nice. Uh, like I say, after just coming off of Stalker, this one's a little bit more up, up pace. And it seems like the theme again. Uh, we still have the angry person who's angry with the person who doesn't love them back. But uh, you know, there's there's still pleading with them to do whatever it takes to for them to be together so let's jump back into it here we go Obviously, it feels like the Red Hands reference here. Maybe he's talking about blood on your hands kind of thing. And uh, it's hard to get the blood off the stain. I don't know. That's just my first interpretation. Let me back up. Sounds like they were going into a chorus there. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, I was just appreciating the, appreciating the artwork here. Uh, I'm sure some of you are familiar with Jungian psychology, where it talks about how everybody has their shadow. That's the dark part of them that uh, follows us around all the time and has all the dark thoughts and all that kind of stuff. This image uh, right here reminds me of that, that uh, this young lady who's in distress here, her shadow is just this monster that's inside of her. And, uh, you know, the, the, all the bad things that go through her mind are represented by this shadow monster behind her that, uh, you know, she's fighting those demons every day, having to deal with the situation that she's in. Just very cool uh, imagery. I love it. noticing something else here too it appears that the end of this uh scarf slash cloak thing that she's wearing appears to be soaked in blood you can see blood splatters coming off of it as well obviously that's the album's called murder scene we're talking about a passionate young person in love that kind of thing who knows what happens further in the story but i'm anticipating there may be a murder i don't know so we'll see <laughs> I like the song. I like it a lot. Uh, I still have yet to hear a warning song that I just was like, meh. You know, they're all they're all really good songs. They're good storytellers. All right, here we go. It's got to be hard to play a kick drum while you're standing. you got all your body weight on one leg, and you're just pushing down on that other leg like that. That's uh, you got to be really fit to be able to pull that off. Uh, I wonder if that's why there's one on the other. Man, that's got to be probably a, a, a uh, what do you call it? Not a, no, it's not a snare. It's a, uh, what do you call it? The, the one with the stack cymbals. Everybody's yelling it at the camera right now. I'll, I'll think of it. Anyway, I just I'm hurting for pal back there on that one leg. A little short, I like it very good. I love this set that they're in here, too. This is a beautiful set, must be in their home, maybe. I don't know. All right, let's see what's next. We're gonna be checking out this video from the cave, the warning cave. And uh, this one says that uh, Ally sings, so uh, 
have to see if how much of it she covers for this. Let's go ahead and check it out. Um, let's do it. I just love that we get to hear Allie's voice. We hardly ever get to hear her uh, her voice. She does some harmonies now and again, but her voice is normally a little softer and it's hard to pick up on. But it's I love seeing her out front, and that's great. I'm going to back it up a minute. All right. It's like Danny couldn't help herself. <laughs> She's like, I, got, I just got to sing this one part right here. How did I forget about Pow back there just with that huge smile bringing it home? Got to back up. I love that intro she just did right there. I also love how the two older sisters are just really enjoying seeing the younger sister a little uncomfortable and up in front, and they're really... In they love the fact that she's up there and she's getting out of her comfort zone a little bit and, and singing lead. And you can see it in their faces that they love it. They love it. <laughs> oh that's funny all right love it oh man i just enjoy how much fun they have and how happy they look when they're doing what their what their passion is you know what i mean 
All right, we are going to check out this final performance. This is Red Hands Never Fade at, live at Lanario CDMX. This came off the warning YouTube page, and it had the most views, so that's how I chose it. This was one of the songs that nobody requested uh, in the comments, and if they did, I missed it. So uh, if you requested this, I apologize, I missed it. But uh, I got it on my list because, you know, you guys explained to me that you have to go through the Queen of the Murder Scene album every track because it tells a story. So we're sticking with the story. This was a good song. I'm, it just probably just got overlooked by you guys. And uh, let's check out this live to wrap up this reaction. I'm having a good time. Hope you are too. Everybody's smiling out there. I hope so. Can I say another great song from The Warning? Queen of the Murder Scene album so far is rocking just like the, uh, you know, the Mayday album. I'm pretty happy so far. Um, definitely going to burn through the rest of this before I go see these ladies in concert in about uh, 18 days. 18 days from now, I'll be standing in a room with these ladies, listening to them jam out. And I'm pretty excited about it. Uh, yeah, but this was a good one. I appreciate it. I can see what the story's about in it. It's still, we're still dealing with that lover's angst kind of thing. The This one kind of made me feel like they may have been together at one time and then they broke up kind of thing. Uh, some of the verses kind of hinted toward that, but I might be wrong. But yeah, this was another good one. 
not going to ramble on too much about it. If you guys enjoyed this reaction, hit that like button down below. Doesn't hurt you at all. Helps me out. Makes me feel good. I love looking to see how many likes my videos get. Let's me know people are enjoying, appreciating what I'm doing over here. So uh, thank you to everybody that's been liking the videos. Uh, you know, if you want to go a little further than a like, there's a subscribe down here at the bottom. If you click on it, it'll, uh, the red button will turn gray, let you know you've subscribed. And if you hit that little bell off to the side, it'll uh, let you know anytime I drop some new content over here at Touchy Reactions. I'm dropping new stuff every day from different groups from all over the world. We're watching a little anime on Fridays. Just trying out lots of different things, dipping our toes in different pools, listening to dis different artists from everywhere around the world. And that's how we discovered the warning. So uh, if you want to come over and subscribe to the channel, that's what you're in for. And uh, if you're the type of person who's got a little bit of money and can support a small channel trying to grow on YouTube, got a link up here in the corner to the Patreon. There's also one down in the description. Uh, if you join the Patreon, you get early access to all the videos. As soon as they get edited, they immediately go into Patreon for as long as it takes for me to release them onto YouTube. Sometimes it's two weeks, sometimes it's three months. It just depends on when it gets out, when it's scheduled. So come on over, join the Patreon, get early access and help support a small channel trying to grow. And that's all I have for this reaction video. Appreciate y'all stopping by and don't forget to come on back.